in Hinduism, there are many forms of God. So we follow Ram, we follow Sita, we follow Krishna. But is there one particular form of God that we should be praying to, be it Madhurani or be it Krishna, or should or are they all just representatives of one sole God? Okay, this question actually worries or confuses a lot of Hindu youngsters. And forget about Hindus, it confuses the non-Hindus even more. Because they think this weird religion has got so many gods. And if I ask all of you, look, Shiva, do you think it's ultimate almighty? You say, yes. Vishnu, yes. Ultimate almighty, yes. Ultimate, yes. And mother goddess, of course, mother goddess. How can we forget them? She's ultimate too. Now you see, straight away contradiction in, come, come on, you can't have too many ultimates. This is not ultimate enough. So which one is the right one? Can the real God stand up, please? That's what she's asking in a nice way. And what's the answer? The answer is this. It's very interesting. You see, this is important for you to know. It's very good that the question comes from you. This religion that appears polythe is called polytheism, many gods. And then you will say, yeah, many gods, yes, we'll all go, yeah. Actually, it's not polytheist. It appears polytheist. It's actually pluralist. It says the same ultimate reality that you are trying to relate to, you can call it by different names and give it different forms. Names and forms can be different but the same reality, ultimate reality. So not many gods, but many ways to think about God. This is a big difference. If you said many gods, it's a naive, not well thought out religion at all. It's not, they have not thought it out properly. When I say many ways to think about God, that's, bra that's grand, it's majestic. It allows different individuals to relate to the idea of spirituality in his own individual mode. So a different group will say, oh, we love Krishna, okay, sing, you, sing his glory. Oh no, we like Shiva. Go for it, my friends. The way you are relating to the ultimate is through the name and form of Shiva. Go for it. This is the idea answer. The, the, real, the name the Hindus give the comprehensive idea of God is, you'll be surprised, is Brahman. Now the word Brahman, there is no person, like Brahma is a different person, not Brahma, we are talking Brahman, Brahma. And the word Brahma means spirit, not as a person at all, but as a principle that underpins reality. They said the whole of this creation is nothing but an expression of this principle, look, not a person, principle that becomes visible, manifested as the world that we see in front of us. And the same principle, Brahman, becomes more visible, becomes clearer as living things and the most clearest vision of this Brahman, this principle, is humanity, men and women. You are the, that's why I said you are the clearest manifestation of God on earth. Where else will you find your God? He is lighting you up. Not you, everybody. So this is a principle-oriented religion, but then it allows a personalized approach because he said, look, why, why should, in that case, why don't we just talk Brahman and why should we have bother with Ram and Krishna and Shiva and Mother? The reason why we have to bother is because we are human. And you've got human failings, or if you like, human limitations. As we are human, the only way we can build a relationship with this principle called Brahman is to think of this principle as a personality. Suppose I said, build relation with Brahman. You say, what do I do now? I said, no, 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 think of Mother God as sweet with flowing hair. And you want to say, oh, mommy. Now it's easy to build relationship. With Brahman, how do you build a relationship? It's a principle, it's abstract. When you turn that principle into a personality, then you can build friendship, relationship like a mother figure, father figure, friend. See, the Hindu religion is the only one that allows you to think of God in a variety of different ways. Not just father in heaven, like Christianity. Mommy in heaven, why not mommy? Mommy is a sweeter, kinder, cuddlier, less hairy than daddy's. <laughs> why can't you think of God like mommy? Why daddy's all the time? Why fixation? In fact, the Gayatri that you just recited gives you the clue of the Hindu tradition. This is what he translates as, let us meditate on the glorious effulgence of that supreme being who has created the universe. May she enlighten our hearts and direct our understanding. She, addressing God as she. The central prayer of the Hindus think God is a woman. See? Because we are human, we like to relate to this principle in a human manner. That's why we create all this imagery. Let's go for it. The same one becomes all this. People say, how do you reconcile principle and personality? This is how we reconcile. It's like ice and water. Water is fuzzy, no shape, nothing, it's just fuzzy. When you freeze it, it can take on different forms. It's the love of the devotee that freezes this principle called Brahman into the various forms that he likes. Suppose I like to think of God as Shiva. This principle reduces itself and becomes Shiva and comes in front of me and interacts with me. This is Hinduism. The love of the devotee freezes this principle into the personality of his, his choice. See the power of religion real democracy, spiritual democracy.